Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is, I've done a video kind of like that, but I'm simplifying it a little bit, and this is not only a good way to figure things out, but it's a great way to send a picture to your customer to show them what it's going to look like. These are beer taps for a nonprofit that they're having a um, next week, and they needed something engraved on it. So what I did... And, and it's a circle, and I'm going to put everything on the circle, so that'd be easy enough, but I wanted to put it, I wanted to be able to take a picture of it so I could show the customer what it's going to look like before I engrave it. So I laid it out on a floor tile, and my tile, and this perfect, this picture isn't perfect, because um, it's a little bit slanted picture, but, so you want to be dead on when, overhead when you take your picture. <clears throat> and the tile was is 17 and three quarters from inside to inside, not counting the grout. So I made a red hairline box that's 17 and three quarters. And you can see it's sitting on top. And if you don't, sometimes if you can't figure out where it went, it's hidden because it's on the back side of this photo. So just go to object order front of page, and then it's going to overlap that hairline. So then I was able to take that same picture and crop it down. And so I, well, let me back up here. I had to, to uh, adjust my picture to get, because every camera is going to take a picture. Mine takes humongous files. So then what you're going to do, you're going to adjust this photo in and out till you get it pretty close. And this is where you want to have your nudge factor set pretty small. But you want to be able to get your photo inside that frame by stretching it or stretching it down until you get the approximate size. And this is where you can move things around. And, and that's close enough for the video. But anyway, then I was able to crop it. So now I've got, well, one, it took away my slanted picture. And I've still got my tape there. And it's from there to there. And the only dimension I really cared about, because now I've got it to size. So I measured the disc, and the disc, the disc, the round part is three and a quarter inches. This circle is three and a quarter inches, and what you're probably seeing past there is that the curvature of the, the disc kind of uh, bows out in the middle. It's, it's uh, the writing surface is three and three quarters, so you're seeing, and uh, you're seeing some of the, the overrun, I guess, what you'd call it on the wood. But so three and a quarter would be safely. Then you could put it in your laser and do a test with this, making sure you're, you know, you're in your parameters. And I was actually also going to, so I sent her this picture just a little while ago to get approved because I curved the top text. Because when you curve the top text, you can actually get it, um, a larger text in there. If I wrote this straight across like she had it last year, she sent me a picture. So tomorrow, and when she okays it, I'm going to just put it in the laser. I'll probably uh, either do center center, or I'll take a piece of MDF and I'll cut out a circle slightly bigger than this circle. So what I would probably do is take this circle and make a duplicate and make it slightly bigger. And then cut or engrave that in the engraver. And then I could put my beer tap right on top of that line and visually see it. And by using a hairline, I could actually vector out that line. And it would probably take a two seconds to cut that out and just, you know, real fast and low power. It won't cut all the way through the wood. Because I don't really want it to cut all the way through the wood. Because I just want it for a jig. I'm just doing four of these handles for this, for this lady. And just to let you know, so I haven't really messed up myself, I this is the one I sent her a picture of, but I've still got my circles, and I, I used 15 inches off. So tonight or tomorrow when she calls back and, or emails back and says, that looks fine, I've got my jig already set exactly the way I want it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.